Hey everyone, so this morning I woke up with one of your comments in mind, this one, and that made me think about what I used to do to improve my pronunciation and really get to where I am right now with my English. So today I'm going to be giving you some extremely useful tips and tricks coming straight from my personal experience of learning English as a foreigner, because I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm Italian and I know what it feels like when you feel awkward or embarrassed because you mispronounced a word or when I was afraid of speaking just because I wasn't sure about the pronunciation of something. So if you're ready, let's dive right into it. So the first and most important thing I want you to pay attention to is to listen to your own voice and become aware of the difference between your pronunciation and the one a native English speaker has. So what I really suggest you to do is to practice out loud and listen to your own voice, how you interact with the language. If there's a particular sound you can't really pronounce or mimic, if there's a syllable or a letter you always struggle with, like the R or the TH sound, for example, and be conscious of your own new quote-unquote English voice. I think we all change a little bit our tone or expressions while speaking another language, don't we all? So what's really important, what I want you to do is to record yourself and listen to your own voice and compare it to native English speakers. And say and observe, I pronounced this certain word this way while he sounded completely different. Or also to compare it to your own voice one month earlier to see all of the improvements you're making. Well, the second method I'm sharing with you guys is something I used to do a lot, almost every single day. That is to repeat, repeat, and repeat again, actively choosing to pronounce sentences in a certain way like natives did. And that really helped me a lot. Now, I admit it can seem a little tedious process, and in certain circumstances it is, like to stay there and repeat water, 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 or like, <laughs> couldn't instead of like couldn't it's not couldn't it's couldn't and stuff like that say things like water which i was really proud of and then yeah. and then the other day she goes can i have some water <laughs> and i went it's water and she was like no it's water <laughs> <laughs> But I think it's a fundamental thing to do and it's very helpful and efficient. The next piece of advice I'm gonna give you is something every single one out there is gonna tell you, which is listening. Okay, but guys, you don't know how important it is to spend, I would say at least 50% of your learning time listening. It's like a game changer. It does everything. The more you listen, the more your speaking and pronunciation will get better and better. So listen to music, podcasts, um, YouTube videos, watch movies and TV series you enjoy and really do it constantly because if you want to upgrade your pronunciation, this is one of the best things to do among with the other tips. Reading purposefully, you know, for the intention of helping to create a character. I read obviously a lot of autobiographies if I'm... So for example, how would you pronounce this simple sentence right here? He probably didn't know that. How would you pronounce it? So probably, it produces a lot and becomes probably, probably. He probably didn't know that. So the syllable ba in the middle is completely silent. It becomes probably, probably. I know it sounds weird. Same with didn't with the T at the end and the T is completely silent as well. So didn't, didn't, didn't. And so all together it sounds like he probably didn't know that. He probably didn't know that. Try to repeat it aloud. Another great and fun way to test your pronunciation and really get better with your spoken English is trying some English tongue twisters. And if you don't know what a tongue twister is, a tongue twister is basically a tricky sentence just created with the purpose of being complex to pronounce. So for example, uh, the first that comes to my mind is Peter Piper pecked a pack of pickled peppers, something like that. And these are like tricky things. I bet you have something like that in your native language, like in Italian it's full of tongue twisters. Another one is how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Oh my god! Okay, now stop! It's like the first time I say like smoothly like this. No way! What I've seen, it's a nice pronunciation muscles warm up you can try and have fun with. I linked a PDF in the info box down below with more than 500 different tongue twisters you can have fun with. So if you're interested, give it a try and let me know because I'm definitely curious how you went in the comment section down below. So this was all for today's video. I truly hope you found it interesting and a little helpful. 
And remember, I have been there. I perfectly know what it feels like when you feel confused, overwhelmed, discouraged by learning another language, because as I said, I'm Italian. I have never been into the United States or in the United Kingdom, and I've studied English on my own. But I'm here to tell you, you absolutely can learn English and be fluent. That being said, please don't forget you guys to subscribe, share, and leave a thumbs up, and, and definitely let me know down in the comment section if you have any thoughts, doubts, questions, and see you guys in the next video. Bye!